Hi everyone, my name is Dave Johnson. I am a community manager for a couple of channels here on YouTube. I'm a community leader. I'm a former Nerdfighters community leader as well. Now I think Liz created this channel with the sole purpose of reminding me how old I am because I started being a Nerdfighter in 2008. Yeah, that long ago. Some people can't even remember that long ago. So in mid-2008, I was introduced to two nerdy brothers through Charlie is So Cool Like. Now, I watched some of their videos and I would go back at regular intervals and watch a few more and come back and I noticed they were improving all the time and the content was great, it was thought-provoking, it was... It was really good content you couldn't really find on YouTube at that point. I watched them intermittently till about 2009, I think when we had a family tragedy and my grandma passed away. Everyone went around to my grandma's house, they all sat around and talked or whatever. I stayed at home on my own and I was just flicking through internet pages, just trying to distract myself from the grief and the thoughts. I came across Nerdfighter's Ning. Now this won't mean something to a lot of people because it's not around anymore. The Nerdfighters Ning was a social network set up by Hank and John as a way of just bringing their fan base together so they can discuss things and share things and plan things. And I found it and I created an account and I just delved into the chat and before I knew it I was surrounded by a lot of supportive people who were because I said what was wrong because I couldn't really distract myself so I thought maybe talking about it with a lot of random strangers might help but it turns out they were really really supportive now but yeah I was really taken aback by how supportive this community was even then in its fledgling days it was becoming this really supportive close-knit network of people I then started using the website every day and then through that I eventually became a chat moderator then I became an administrator then I became the head administrator and I ran the website up until the beginning of this year now, that is how I really got integrated into Nerdfight era. It's how I found the Vlog Brothers, but it's what it's led to. I started as doing this as an experiment, and then I created a YouTube channel for video updates on the Nerdfighters Ning because some people don't like reading a wall of text. They would prefer to listen to someone speak or watch someone speak. A channel that then was Nerdfighters Info, which was literally you know information for Nerdfighters, I repurposed it and then in 2013 we decided to create a collaboration channel and we started it and it grew and it grew and it grew. Fast forward to 2016 there has been over a hundred nerdfighters and non-nerdfighters who have appeared on the channel. It's grown into this vast but close-knit community circle of friends with and it has given me some of the best experiences of my life in the last three years. Hey Dave. Hi. How's it going? It's going confusingly. <laughs> And that. Well, apparently you can get five people. Six. What? Hello. Hello, I'm Josh. I'm the producer of the Social Corner. I'd like to thank the Bolton volunteers. F <laughs> like people do 95% of the time. I have to film all the meetings, Dave. I have to fulfill this for posterity and shit. Hi, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. <laughs> See? Yeah. Why does that. No, 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 no. No, you're supposed to. That is how I found the Vlogbrothers. 2016 now, I'm, as I said, a community manager on a couple of big channels for YouTube. I also run the NFI community and I'm part of other channels as well. And I've got so much going on now and it's all influenced through YouTube, through the Vlogbrothers. So, it's quite literally a life-changing YouTube channel, just maybe not in the way people would have expected. As I always say, DFTBA, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day guys, and I can't wait to hear your stories.